Hello and welcome to the first Logic Pro X tutorial with me, Ashley Standland. In this series, we're going to be taking a look at Logic from the basics right up to some more advanced features. In this session, we're going to be looking at how to create a project, add audio tracks, software instrument tracks, and everything you need to get started recording in Logic Pro. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll get them answered. Let's go. <laughs> Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and open Logic. And we're going to go create a new project from a template. And this is the screen that some of you will see come up first. And so we're going to go new project, empty project and choose. And there we go. So then we're going to click on audio. We're going to make sure our inputs are correct. So I'm using an interface. Uh, the Audient ID4, you might be using a Scala or a Universal, whatever it may be. Make sure your audio inputs are right there and outputs are there. If it's wrong, you can change it afterwards, don't worry about that. Number of tracks one, create, and that's the track created. So here we've got mute, solo, so they obviously mute and solo your track. Record enable, this is important when you want to start recording and then input monitoring so you can hear yourself before if you click this and you can hear yourself during the recording so you want to make sure that's on so you can go ahead and either press R on the keyboard or press record and that's going to start recording for you so this is recording with a click at the minute and the click is 120 beats per minute as you can see here you can change this just by running up and down we're going to get rid of that and if you want to get rid of the click Click on that one, right click there, click while recording, done. And that's set up an audio track to record. As I said earlier, if you have set up your inputs wrong, uh, you can change this by going into Mixer or this channel strip here. And you see inputs here. And you can change your input there. So that's now changed to the DI on my interface. So the uh, direct input. So we'll change it back to microphone and we can see the microphone still up there. If you wanted to record in with a keyboard that sends MIDI data to Logic, um, a lot of these new keyboards are MIDI enabled now, so you can send MIDI data. Same as electric drum kits, you can send MIDI data. You're going to go right click, software instrument, so right click anywhere in here, or you can go on this little plus here and add a software instrument there. You're going to see that it's a sampler, it's the EX, EXS. Well, that's a, that's a mouthful. EXS24, there we go. So a number of tracks, one, and create that there. So what this does is it brings you a list of Logic instruments, which you can cl uh, click on the tab up here to get that. And then we'll go down to acoustic pianos, add a grand piano, and then what we're going to do is take record enable off the audio track. And then record enable the grand piano, and then we should get that through. And there it is. And then same as before with the audio track, just press R on the keyboard or record there, and then you can start recording your MIDI tracks. Okay, so last thing I'm going to talk about, if you have um, a backing track that you want to sing along to, if that's what you're doing, and you don't want to create something from scratch, you just want to sing over something, you don't have to add an audio track, but if you add an audio track, you can then drag whatever audio file it is that you've got on your desktop. So drag the audio file. Uh, let's go in and find a, a backing track for something. Let's have a look. I don't know what this is. Let's drag it in and you can see the drag, drop, and there's the audio file. And then it plays there and then you can sing over it or whatever you want to put the audio in there for. And that's adding an audio track. So they're the basics you need to know to get going recording in Logic. I am going to go into a, a more in-depth um, look at setting up a Logic profile in a different video. Uh, we're going to go into preferences and look at buffer size and, and sample rates and and, uh, and see how that affects the projects and why we would want to use these. Uh, but for now, that should get you going recording in Logic. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. To help us bring you more content, Please support us by subscribing to our channel.